I can only say that they've announced that it's coming out in November, and it was always, in my view, going to come out in the autumn this year. And that's why I brought out my book uh, before his, because I wanted to set the scene. He's got a challenge uh, in my book to have a lot of questions he and Megan have to answer. Of course, it's not his book. It's been ghostwritten. And I just wonder whether he's even read it, let alone written it. But I'm sure Megan has read it. I'm sure Megan has had a lot of influence on his content. And uh, she will have decided uh, where to draw the line in her battle with the royal family, and with particularly with Camilla, Prince Charles, and William and Kate. I mean, th these are... But in terms of delaying it because of the Queen, I don't think they could delay it anymore. The Queen, by all accounts, is in very good health at the moment. She was even photographed and filmed riding not so long ago, a 96-year-old woman riding a horse. It's extraordinary. So I think that uh, they had to bring it out just for their own financial reasons and because the publishers are clearly anxious to get it out to earn their own money. And how is Megan, just to finish, how is Megan doing on the circuit? You know, she's made it... She made it quite clear, I think, that she has ambitions to be a Democrat politician um, in due course. Is she going down well or is she starting to leave a bad taste in the mouths of uh, some of the people over in the States? Well, I would clearly in my own interest say that my book has had an influence on her <laughs> reputation, which I'm sure it has. Um, I mean, she's got to take the knocks now. Yes, she's how many a, books have you sold? How many books have you sold? Uh, They've printed over 100,000 in Britain, and in Kindle and audio, over 50,000 have been sold. So it's a number one bestseller, and a lot of people in America are keen to buy it. They needn't wait too long. There'll be an American edition very soon. You're uh, brave doing this kind of book. <laughs> I, I have to. It has done well, but it's, <laughs> it's a good read. Look at the Amazon reviews. I mean, they are just, I never had anything like it. <laughs> Normally, I get lots of one stars, but this time... Uh, they're very pra praiseworthy. Let me just quickly tell you this. I think your audience will be interested. What's interesting about Meghan and her campaign is how very cleverly targeted it is. I mean, she does appeal all the time to minority interests, which reflect on her and her ambitions, whether it's mother, pregnant mothers or whether it's the diverse communities uh, or whether it's some sort of charity or other, not with much money, but with her presence. And, of course, always introducing herself as the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle. She trades on that. So, and she's very careful. I mean, it is very carefully calculated and calibrated. So I, I, this book which is coming up, the Netflix, is all part of the promotion of Meghan Markle as a future uh, politician, possibly, or a possible uh, further icon. But she's got a major problem now because I think that my book shows that she's not pure honey, that there isn't, uh, she isn't actually... Uh, the saint which you'd like us all to believe. And uh, she now has a challenge on her hands.